Move us on the very bottom of the social scale. I mean, long ago. Undertaker. Undertaker, yeah. Grave digger. But who else? Yeah. Execution. The hang was the law. The second lowest was the grave digger. And they like to work together, this two. <laughs> they had the same client. <laughs> the third lowest was already me, that watchman and tower girls. And not to forget two more things, that watchman also the lamp lights, the lightened street lamps in the evening when it went dark. And they had to check if the doors of the houses were all locked. That's what a night watchman did all over Europe, in all the cities, like here. And we had them here until 1920. Mm -hmm. Quite a long time. The real night watchman existed in Rome. <laughs> now we are here in the main street of Rome. This is the widest lane in town. When you look back, you can see it. And you can see there are lots of big houses right and left. The rich and noble people like to live here, in that street, and around the market <coughs> square where we met. Next to the entrance, there are these chains with a handle. It's with the doorbells, like people used to have them long ago. If one pulls them, the bells inside ring. The city in the old days was like a big village. Sure, it didn't look like one, but it smelled like one. <laughs> and even worse, because there was a tannery and a skinnery in town. The stench coming from there was really outstanding. <laughs> now, there's a last story about recent history, about times of World War II. I think most of you don't know that Rodenburg was bombed by the American army in March 45 and it was destroyed by 40% within the old walls. It happened for a special reason. A few weeks earlier Nuremberg was bombed and mostly destroyed. It's a big city 50 miles south from here. There was a German general who left Bedard Nuremberg, escaping into Rodenburg with all his Nazi soldiers, giving order to hold this city to the last man. The front line of the American army was very close. And sure, they found out what's going on, that all these troops were in here, and what kind of order was given. And so it happened. On the 31st of March, 1945, there were 16 military aircrafts, marauders, getting up in the air. And their main target was not Rodenbach. It was a gas depot of the Nazis about 70 miles northeast from here. But it was so foggy there that they couldn't see anything. And for that case, they always had a secondary target because they had to drop this bomb and we were the secondary target of the day. How great. Now they flew over here and dropped these bombs down, destroying eastern and northern part of the old city. But they did not hit the city center, where we went around on the tour tonight, and we more than that, there was no damage. 